Yo, what's going on everybody? We have a new video. As you can see, the new trailer for Sparking Zero dropped, the release trailer, and it looks amazing. I just wanted to go ahead and go with you guys and go over the video and kind of discuss the, some of the things that I saw and some of the things that I want to be able to review with you guys. And go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more information. Now, Summer Game Fest 2024 was just this Friday. And as you can see, the Sparking Zero release trailer did drop. It looks fantastic. It looks phenomenal. Um, as you can see, the destructive buildings are back. And another thing back is what ifs. So pretty much what they used to do is pretty much the community would be Dragon Ball Z what ifs and what would happen if, I don't know, let's say Krillin went to go help Goku rather than Piccolo and, you know, and what if trunks and vegeta try to take on cell so a lot of that's going on right now with the sparking zero and some of the mechanics in the gameplay and i just kind of want to watch over it and go with you guys so we're just going to go ahead and begin the trailer and see all right as you can see they start off with ultra instinct goku i know we're going to get the tournament of power but i wonder what what if we're going to get there yeah yeah, that looks amazing right there. See, that was the future. That was the future. Looks like Goku was a uh, Super Saiyan form fighting Goku Black. And that's, that map right there already looks like it's going to be one of my favorites. Because of the city and the environment, the destructive qualities. Oh, it's going to be insane. Let's keep going. See? Oh, giant ape Vegeta right there. Fighter's a legend. That fight with uh, Majin Vegeta versus Boo. Are you ready? Do it! Well, the more you slice it. I also noticed that in the gameplay as well. As you can see, um, we're going to start seeing through Goku's eyes, Goku's point of view. And I thought that was pretty interesting because that was something I used to put up on my Instagram page. Um, what it's like through Goku's eyes during battle. So I wonder if they're going to make this more of a thing. As you can see, Goku saying bye to everybody, looking at them through his eyes and what he's about to do. I wonder if they're going to mix that in battle and cutscenes and stuff like that. That's going to be pretty sick. Let's keep going. One way to save her. Bye, my friends. No matter what it takes, I need to risk Gohan. See, there we go. Krillin went with Goku rather than Piccolo to go help save Gohan from Raditz. So I wonder how that's going to play out. Goku, wait! Uh-oh. Krillin looks to be... What? Goku goes Super Saiyan early because Krillin dies? We got Trunks and Vegeta doing Final Flash together versus Cell. Bro, yes. Right there, I gotta pause it for a second. There's gonna be hella characters. And when it comes to Dragon Ball Dima, I didn't really see any right there, but they could potentially add them as DLC, so that's always up in the air because Dragon Ball Dima is going to be releasing around the same time frame as the Sparking Zero. Ultimate Ultra. Yeah, see? Now that is a trailer. October 11th, 2024. See? Looks like I was right on it coming out in October 11th. The cover art looks amazing. Reminds me of the classics. And as you can see, the pre-order bonus, we get all of pretty much the Broly versus Gogeta fusion. Six characters early unlocked. Playable characters. All right. All right. It gives us a figurine, some box cover art. And right here, I just want to go ahead and pause it right here. See what the standard edition you just get the game but with the deluxe edition we will be getting the full game digital only you can play three days early we'll have 20 playable characters because of dlc one two and three in a season pass bonus that also lets us summon shenron and early access to these dlcs so that's for the deluxe edition but when we get into the ultimate edition the ultimate edition gives us the full game digital only three days early season pass DLC 1, 2, and 3, 20 plus playable characters, season pass bonus to summon Shenron, but the ultimate content comes with the ultimate upgrade pack, which gives us, looks like an emote and Goku with the power pole, as well as the ultimate edition bonus gives us the 
summoning of Super Shenron. So I'm not going to lie, I'm definitely going to go for the Ultimate Edition. Looks like you get more out of that, as well as the DLCs and everything like that. So the game looks amazing to me. The Beam Clash is going to come back, the destructive environments. It looks amazing. And again, it's coming out October 11th, 2024. So that is going to be the time everybody is going to be in an uproar. Content is going to go crazy. And I'm definitely going to be putting more uh, videos on the channel, more updates, gameplay, footage, all that information up until the release and after the release. So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. You guys hold it down. Stay blessed. Peace. Well, the more you slice it, there's only one way to save her. Bye, my friend.